Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I figured for this video I would do a redo of my Diary of Olympia Kid collection. Why? Well, first of all, I've gotten the Mad Libs books, so those will be additions to the video. And second, I wasn't even expecting the last collection video to be such a hit because I wasn't even talking in the video. So I figured I would do a redo where I actually talk and show everything. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is my redo or remaster, whatever you want to call it, of my Diary of Olympia Kid collection. So first I'm going to start with the main line of books. So first we have Diary of Olympia Kid, book one. And I'll do the same thing I usually do where I show the picture as well as the inner pages here. Next up we have book two, Roderick Rules. And of course, all of these are hardcover. Here is book three, The Last Straw. Here's book four, Dog Days. Next up we have book five, The Ugly Truth. Here is book six, Cabin Fever. Next up, book seven, The Third Wheel. Here is Book 8, Hard Luck. Here's Book 9, The Long Haul. Next up, we have Book 10, Old School. Book 11, Double Down. This is when the spines start to have more than one color. Next up, book 12, The Getaway. And yes, I am aware the stuff fell over. Here's book 13, The Meltdown. Book 14, Wrecking Ball. Book 15, The Deep End.
and the last book so far, book 16, Big Shot. Next, we're going to go into the miscellaneous books before getting into the Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid books. So first we have the original release of the Do-It-Yourself book. And then here is the reissue of the Do-It-Yourself book containing more activities to do. Next up we have the two movie diaries. Here is the first one containing films one through three. And I used to own the original releases that had the uh, movie diary containing just the first book and then the one containing the second, the first and the second book. But I figured I would just prefer to have the one that contains all three in one book. And then lastly, we have the movie diary based off film four, The Long Haul. Next up, we're gonna show, or I'm gonna show, the two variations of the first book. So first we have the cheesiest edition in which this book is basically just the first book printed on uh, premium paper. I made a video showing the differences if you, want, if you want to check that out. Inside we have the letter by Jeff Kinney. And then besides being printed on premium paper, obviously the other major difference is that anytime the cheese is shown, it is in color. And then next up, we have the 2021 Disney Plus movie edition, which is just a new cover. Everything else is pretty much identical to the original book. And of course, with the cheesiest edition, the pages are yellow, at least on the edges. And then next up, we have the blank journal. Saying this journal belongs to, and then just empty pages. And I'll go ahead and take this slip off real quick just to show the book without it. So this is what it looks like without that slip. Just a plain journal. So let's go ahead and put this back on. And then put this there. In case you're wondering, this is what one part of it looks like, showing the books. And then here's the other one, which is just a pencil. So, there you go. Next up, I'm going to show the two Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid books. These are This is the series um, from Raleigh's perspective. So first we have book one, which is just Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, Raleigh Jefferson's journal. And then here is book two, Raleigh Jefferson's Awesome Friendly Adventure. Oops, went one page too far. There we go. And lastly, we have the third book called Raleigh Jefferson's Awesome Friendly Spooky Stories.
Okay, so those are the books there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move over here real quick to fix this. And I'm gonna show the Mad Libs books. There we go. So, if you all saw some videos ago, I got the Mad Libs books, so I'm gonna show them here. Here's the first one, just titled Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Mad Libs, World's Greatest Word Game. It contains, of course, Mad Libs. Here is the second one called Second Helping. I think I showed. Sorry if it didn't focus, but there's the top of the other one. This one also contains Mad Libs, of course. Different ones. And then next up, we have this one called the Fully Loaded Deluxe Edition. This basically contains the same Mad Libs from the first book. But in addition, it also contains a poster and two sticker sheets. So here's the front of that. And then they're towards the back, I believe. Yeah, so here is one sticker sheet and then here is the other one and then in addition there is also a poster but let me do a flip through real, real quick and then let's get the poster out just to show that here it is whoops and here is the poster. So, pretty neat. It's probably best to go for this edition if you don't own any of the Mad Libs, simply because it's larger in size, so it'd be easier to write on. Plus, again, you get the addition of the poster and the sticker sheets. So, it's definitely worth picking up for this edition and then this one. So, there's probably really no reason to get this one since you're getting all the same Mad Libs in here as well as those two bonuses so let me go ahead and put these back in the spots start with here here's the second book and then here is the deluxe one and finally we have the movies so let's go ahead and show those here is the first one Of course, this has the slipcover, which opens up to show Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, which would, which would eventually become, of course, a book series. And then here it is out of the slipcover. Standard packaging. Inside we have an advertisement for... Percy Jackson and Olympians, The Lightning Thief on Blu-ray. And a digital code, which I believe I've already used, plus it's expired. And then inside we have an advertisement for the Wimpy Kid Movie Diary. As well as a calendar and other books. And then an advertisement for Book 5. Because this Blu-ray came out before Book 5 was released. Inside we have the digital copy disc, a DVD, and the Blu-ray. Next up, we have Roderick Rules, which I don't think was released with a slipcover, so that's why it's not shown here. Inside we have an advertisement of the digital copy code. And on the back, we have an advertisement for Gulliver's Travels, Narnia, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and the first Wimpy Kid movie. Here's the digital copy disc, the DVD, and the Blu-ray. Here is Dog Days. Here it is out of the slipcover. 
here's an ad for other books and a calendar. And then advertising the third wheel. And digital copy code. And just an ad for ultraviolet. Here is the Blu-ray, and then here is the DVD plus the digital copy, both on one disc. And last, we have everyone's least favorite Wimpy Kid movie, The Long Haul. Here it is out of the slipcover. Advertisements for... We have a couple here. Regal Cinemas. Or, yeah, rewarded for Crown Club. A bonus code for getting the Wimpy Kid, the first Wimpy Kid movie digitally. Nothing on the back. And then the code for the long haul. Nothing on the back as well. And then inside the case we have the Blu-ray and the DVD. So there you go, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this redo of my Diary of a Wimpy Kid collection. I'm not sure when I'll make another collection video since I don't really think there's anything else I need to get until the um, 17th book, which will come out later this year. But hopefully you all enjoyed this video and thought it was an improvement over the last one since I actually was able to talk in this one. But... Again, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so as I make all kinds of content, including ones on Wimpy Kid. And I will see you all next time.